Macron, L.E. Pen to face off following first round of France presidential election. No candidate reached the necessary 50% to avoid a runoff in Sunday's French election, meaning the top two candidates will head for a runoff. Sunday's vote featured 11 candidates, but now attention will turn to May 7 for a second round of voting. And for the first time in French history, no mainstream candidate will be on the ballot, May's runoff will be between independent candidate Emmanuel Macron and right-winger Marine Le Pen. Macron, a political novice, earned 24% in Sunday's first round ballot and Le Pen gaining 22% of the vote, Reuters reported. We're turning a page in French political history, Macron told the French news agency AFP. Supporters were waiting for Macron to speak as of late Sunday afternoon. Socialist candidate Benoit Hamo and scandal-ridden conservative candidate François Fillion conceded defeat Sunday afternoon and threw their support behind Macron, condemning the nationalist right-wing views of Le Pen and her National Front Party. Extremism can can only bring unhappiness and division to France, Fillion said. There is no other choice than to vote against the far right. I will vote for Emmanuel Macron. I consider it my duty to tell you this frankly. It is up to you to reflect on what is best for your country, and for your children. For 15 years, there has not been a pro-sovereignty candidate in the second round of a presidential election, she said. This is great ideological victory. Marine Le Pen added her own comments later that afternoon, when she addressed supporters in her home constituency of Hennon Beaumont. She told them that they were choosing between unchecked globalization and homeland defending nationalism. French people must seize this historical opportunity that has opened to them because what is at stake in this election is savage globalization, which jeopardizes our civilization, she said to a roaring crowd. The French Interior Ministry reported that 69. 42% of France's 47 million eligible voters participated in Sunday's election, which is a slight decline from 2012.